to make up, and then we'll f that would put okay, after good that. Point. Okay, that great. Yeah, that'll be right, a good you. breaking point after the makeup. You right, said yes. that you didn't testify. You uh, didn't wear any makeup that day. We've heard all kinds of things about makeup in this case. Could you please tell the jury what your uh, regular routine was with respect to makeup? Uh, Yes, I get up and wash my face, like most of us, um, and I put on right away uh, a moisturizer that has um, tinted foundation in it. And then I put another foundation on because it has sunblock in it. I have a skin condition that I, my skin reacts to the sun in, in a bad way. So I have, to, I have to wear sunscreen or sunblock every day. Anyway, so I put on both of those. I put on concealer. Uh, and I, um, I do that before I, I leave my bathroom in the morning. Okay. That's obviously if I don't have a bruise. Now, when you had bruises or cuts of any nature, what would you do uh, about those? Would you try to cover them up? Would you try to just leave them showing? What would you do? Objection, Your Honor, leading. I, I, I was, oh, yeah, overruled I was, on that. Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm a uh, typical... I uh, am typically photographed in L.A. when I leave the house, a uh, paparazzi type of photograph. So uh, I always, uh, I'm you know somewhat aware of that anyway. Um, and no one, woman, no woman wants to walk around with a bruise on her face. Uh, so if I do have a bruise uh, on my face or someplace visible, you know the main thing you have to ice right away to reduce swelling because no amount of makeup can can fix swelling, but it's very manageable if you ice it really soon. Um, Arnica is also a, a great uh, remedy, Arnica cream. Uh, and then if you want to cover up a bruise, um, you obviously put foundation first, concealer, and then on top of that, um, I use a, like a, a bruise kit. Not a bruise kit, it's a theater makeup kit, a color correction kit, but I, use, I called it my bruise kit. And, and let me... I, I use this, I think, in opening statement in its defendant's exhibit. It, if you could buy the mic microphone, please. Oh. Just to, we can't hear you. Um, there you go. May, may I approach uh, the witness to? Well, let that's what you could show the counsel. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about as a color correction kit. This is not obviously the exact one I used to carry, but I used to carry it with me all the time. Sometimes this pink is sometimes a little bit more purple of a hue, and sometimes the kits are three colors. You can get them in three or four colors. Sometimes they have even more. But the idea is that you want to counteract whatever color you're working with on the bruise. So the first day of bruising, in, well, the immediate is red. Red is what shows up right away, so you want to go with the opposite on the color wheel by dabbing on a bit of the green or something to counteract the red. After a day or two, you get more purple in a bruise, um, so you'd obviously have to go with more of the red tones, the, the orange tones here. Um, day two for me was always the trickiest because um, day two just... I feel like, well, day one and day two are harder for me because that's when you get the most blues and purples and you have to deal with the sensitivity. Bruises don't like to be touched. That's the whole point. Um, so that's the trickiest part. But um, after a few days, that becomes more of a, uh, uh, that blue becomes more of a, a a brown, yellowish brown, like a, a, you know, five, seven days in becomes more of a yellow green. Uh, and then fades into a brown and then into your skin. And you, whatever color you're working with in the bruise, you want to go opposite color on the color wheel. Uh, so uh, the opposite, I mean, so in the first couple of days when you have more of the typical bruise color, the blues and, and the purples, you want to go more of the orange uh, on, the, on the color wheel as opposed to the greens that you start with. And then it moved, it progresses from there. I also noticed that um, bruising on your face uh, t tends to heal a lot faster than, at least for me, it was faster healing than bruises on my body, or at least it seemed like that to me. And um, a nose is pretty much um, unrecognizable after a day or two, depending on how much you ice it. 
Uh, lips are the hardest because they crack and bleed, of course. Uh, but it's easy to hide with lipstick if you're a woman or, you know, if you wear a lipstick, I suppose. Now, we heard some testimony of people uh, in the week of May 21st to 27th uh, saying that you didn't wear a stitch of makeup. Oh, was that true? Objection hearsay. O overrule. Uh, they just don't know what they're talking about. I always wear makeup. Okay. You always wear makeup? I mean, it's part of my bathroom routine in the morning. You know, wash my face. I put on moisturizer. My moisturizer has tinted foundation in it, and I'm certainly not going to walk around L.A. with bruises on my face. Okay. I think this All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take our lunch recess at this time. Again, do not do any outside research and do not discuss the case with anybody. And we'll see you in an hour, okay? Thank you. Court is still in session, so please be quiet in the gallery. Thank you.